we can't really be spiritually resilient until we truly become uh, mentally tough. And we're not really truly mentally tough unless we're spiritually resilient. It mm-hmm. takes both things for us to be balanced to accomplish God's purpose and plans for our lives yes. and to do the things he's calling us to do. Right. And uh, today uh, there's a term that got developed and talk about this generation they call them snowflakes yeah. Yeah. because yeah. the smallest little thing that disrupts them and they have a big meltdown. And uh, we have become so mentally and morally weak. Mm-hmm. And as a result, we're so spiritually weak mm-hmm. that almost anything can overcome people today. Wow. But what God is calling us to do is to get back to that, get back into developing that mental toughness and that spiritual resilience. Yes. yes. And they're in the Bible is the handbook for doing that. Yes. Just like your uh, handbook for your car. Mm-hmm. A lot of people never read it, but they could avoid a lot yeah. of problems if they did. Right. <laughs> That's true. But, but we have an owner's manual. Yeah. That's I have right. one right here, I believe. Yeah, here's yes. my owner's manual. Amen. And in this book, it tells us exactly how we can do that. Yes. And one of the things that I do, anytime the Lord gives me a writing assignment, the first thing I do is go to the Word. Mm-hmm. I don't want to teach anything that isn't based on the Word Amen. of God. Amen. And so I begin to go through the Word and look up scriptures related to that topic in every direction. And uh, th- this book is based on those scriptures that I found that support those ideas that came as a revelation yes. to me. And we need the Word of God. To be Amen. spiritually resilient, you have to have the Word stored in you. Amen. When I was a kid, uh, people used to do what they call sword drills because the sword is the Word of God. Yes. yes. And uh, the teachers would uh, teach us to store scriptures yes. in our heart. Amen. Yes. And then we'd have to have drills where they would give us a situation, a scenario. And it was up to you to come up with the correct sword to deal with that particular issue. And uh, we need to have those sword drills again. We need our young people to begin to build up the storehouse of the heart Mm -hmm. to have the Word of God in it and ready for whatever comes. We need to have the Word of God ready to go. We must study the Word. Yes, we must. You know, when I was a boy, my my church, Full Gospel Church, I grew up in it. And they had Bible study, Bible lesson all the time. That's all we did. It was the Bible, 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 Bible. And that's why today... I'm, I know the word a little bit because I, I was born in it. Yeah. And, and I stored it in your it heart. Stored it, yeah. 